This video is going to go over how to complete the Adopt an Element project. First thing to know is that you can find all the information that you need and all the resources that you might need to complete this project by going to Schoology. Now, in Schoology, if you go to the week four folder, you're going to find the Adopt an Element project page. Once you get to the week four folder, you're gonna scroll down to the bottom. Once you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you're gonna see two links. One is the Adopt an Element research links page. Another one is the week four remote learning day two Adopt an Element assignment project. If you click on that, you're going to see the description for the assignment. When taking a look at the description of the assignment, you'll see two main links, as well as you'll see the link for this video, which has not yet been added. If you click on the first one, it's going to bring you to a document that walks you through step-by-step -step how to complete the project. First, you'll complete the Adopt an Element Information Sheet. This is included in your packet, your week four packet. Then you'll notice that I included some links for some helpful websites. This first one is the one that's included on the Schoology page. And the second one is the website called chemicool.com, which is also very helpful. Now, note that you may need to conduct additional research to find out information about your element, but try to stick to credible sources such as websites ending in .edu, .org, or .gov. You also have to create a mini poster for your project, which is going to be done on your week four packet. You'll notice that we have the rubric for that poster attached in the instruction sheet. Now, I also attached a link to the actual page that you're going to complete the Adopt an Element worksheet on. This is also available in your week four packet on pages five and six. You'll notice that it has you first complete the fact sheet where you fill out the symbol, the atomic number, the atomic mass, number of protons, number of neutrons and electrons. All of this top information can be filled out simply by doing research of looking at a periodic table. The information that follows might be something that you need to look up and use some of those research links such as melting point, boiling point, remember to use degrees Celsius, not degrees Fahrenheit or Kelvin. The normal phase is the phase of matter, solid, liquid, or gas, in which your element exists in when there's normal temperature or room temperature and standard pressure. The cost can be found at the ChemiCool website, which I'll show you in a moment. The classification is non-metal, metal, or metalloid. Quite often, people wonder if a transitional metal is a metal. It is. The element belongs to the blank family is quite often the classification. This would be something such as a transitional metal. The origin is where your metal was discovered and who it was discovered by and where it was discovered. And then you can include interesting information on your fact sheet. The last page of your packet is going to be where you actually complete your poster. Half of it is where you'll complete it, and the other half is an example where you will see an example poster, and it also has the point values included. Now, when it comes to research, make sure that you use credible sources. Now, one source that I find extremely helpful is chemicool.com. Chemicool.com is an interactive periodic table where you can click on your element, and you can find out all kinds of cool information. Now, some of the cool information that's included is way down on the bottom. You will see where it says the cost. And you can include either the cost of the pure or the cost of the bulk per 100 grams. Just make sure to indicate bulk or pure on your fact sheet. Now, one other thing that people quite often get confused about is including a physical and a chemical property. Notice that in the example that I provided, a physical and chemical property could be something such as, for physical, the melting or boiling point. And a chemical property could be something as simple as the number of protons and electrons that are included in an atom of your element. Enjoy!